Do I have Innes here? Yes, Thank Judge. you very much. And is it Courtney? Yes, Judge. Now, it's extremely important you understand that um, your, your, your job is simply to... Do... Excuse me, what? Sorry, sorry, sir. Judge, we believe there's a wanted person in the audience. Um, just pause for a second. Everybody, please stay still, if you don't mind. Um, uh, first of all, do, do you know who this person is? Jane Dabner. <laughs> is there a Jane Dabner in the audience? <laughs> You seem to think this is funny, madam. Can you tell me um, what the nature of the allegation is? It's for theft. <laughs> That's it. Um, Jane. Jane, could you just step out for me, please? Jane, listen to me carefully. You're under arrest on suspicion of theft. You don't have to say anything that may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned, something which you later on in court, anything you do say may be given evidence. Do you understand? I do. Just listen Jane, to my colleague for me. Hands like this. I don't find this a laughing matter. Okay, if you could follow us. I'll let you have there. Come just go straight to this way, please. Uh, actually, officers, um, I think I'm prepared to hear this case right now. Have we got time in our list this afternoon? Yes. Yes, I'll deal with it straight away. Uh, I'll rise whilst the charge is brought to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, officers, for your time in this matter, this very serious criminal case. Um, the defendant I've allowed not to be in the dock, albeit ordinarily I'd have her behind screens, I'd have her in handcuffs, and frankly, given what she's done, I would almost certainly refuse bail. Are you Jane Dabner? Yes. You've been accused of stealing, isn't that right? That's correct, Judge. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Now, madam, I shall start unusually with the mitigation, because am I right to say um, that you've had cancer? Yes. Tell me some more about that, please, Jane. Um, six years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer that had spread from my breast to my lymph nodes. And then three years after that, um, I was sort of given the all clear. Uh, but I was a little bit uncertain and a little bit nervous about being discharged. So my consultant gave me um, an extra scan. Good job he did because it was there again. It's still come back. So unfortunately now I'm living with cancer. So they can treat me just, just to keep me going for as long as I can to get up to misdeeds by the looks of things. Well, a lot of misdeeds, but you see... Uh, that doesn't in any way allow you to commit theft, which you've been doing, no. despite the fact you seem to have some sort of positive mission. Yes. What's that, please, madam? To live my life as best I can and to make as much money as possible for the Maggie centres before I disappear. Trying to make a positive difference? Yeah. In what sense? Uh, doing a lot of fundraising and creating awareness of getting ladies to check their breasts, um, do it early, and uh, to make them aware that they've got Maggie centres there to help them as well. Well, that's all a rather good thing, but that in no way allows you to go round committing criminal acts. Most especially, stand up straight, please. You stand accused of this very serious grave offence, an appalling matter, one which I have to say I am shocked by. Jane Dabner, you are hereby accused of stealing the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> Officers. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful for your time. Now, can you help with the first count? I believe, officer, that was on June 2018. That's correct. You've naturally provided the evidence, have you not, officer? That's correct. Thank you very much. Can you help me with what happened? Um, yes, it was Maggie's on the runway charity event. It was a catwalk show at Manchester Airport. <laughs> the defendant was walking down the runway um, under the wingspan of Concord accompanied by hunky firemen and was lifted by the firemen 
Now, just pause there, if you don't mind, officer, and I am yet again grateful for your time, because this is when the matter became entirely depraved. <laughs> Sorry. I am outraged by what you did next. <laughs> Madam, who was appearing at that event? What great artist, what modern pop da Vinci was singing at that event? Rick Astley. <laughs> the fabulous Rick Astley. I believe we have some further evidence. I was promised that I was going to be the star of the show, like, you know, it was all about me and everything. And then all of a sudden, this gorgeous woman with this bright red lipstick turns up with a load of firemen in tow. And then, it, I'm telling you, it's like one fireman's lift and then that's it. She steals the whole show. It's all about her. Unbelievable. I, can't, I mean, I'm so... I've just... I've, I'm still not over it now. I'm just in such a mood, I can't tell you. I've had enough of this. I'm off. <laughs> That's not the end of the matter. I'm glad your hands are covering your face in shame over there. <laughs> because it's also correct that in 2008, Officer, thank you, I understand you deal with some very challenging things. And um, frankly, I'd ordinarily offer you a chair given how serious this is. Am I right to say that you appeared in a charity calendar called oh, God. <laughs> Naked Strength? <laughs> <laughs> And am I right that you were... <laughs> Miss February. <laughs> Miss February? <laughs> well, looking at that, I can see it was very cold. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's clear to me is that you are... Well, I should ask Michelle. Do have a look. You're better at evaluating that. Mm -hmm. In your judgment, Michelle, do you not agree that Jane is quite deliberately stealing the limelight from the other person <laughs> in the picture? 100%. Disgraceful. <laughs> Item number three. Officer, do you mind helping? Spring 2009, an unsuspecting hero, a legend of broadcasting, shows up in the morning to be kind to everybody, to help us with fashion and that sort of thing, only to have the horror of this cruel thief over there showing up on her sofa. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> So, the defendant appeared on Lorraine Kelly as part of the boobies campaign. Shall we have a look? I think we should. Thank you very much, officer. Well, yes, I most certainly do know Jane Dabner and I can confirm that she absolutely did try to steal my show. The cheek, the sheer cheek of her. <laughs> Not the end of the matter again. 5th of October 2019. You were invited to give a keynote speech at the Prevent Breast Cancer Afternoon, correct? Yes. Very important event for a very important charity. Well, in the course of that keynote speech, no doubt, you were desperately concerned not to continue with your recidivist thieving. Is that correct? I don't think so. Let's see the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> What's in that picture, madam? <coughs> Um, it's an inflatable saxophone. <laughs> I was forced to play. <laughs> Officer, in your years of experience... Oh, my goodness. Well... What's going on be, there? They just had to be bought, didn't they? Well, I just want to be clear. As far as you know, um, this lady isn't responsible for kidnapping any Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Now, Judge. Yet more evidence of your thievery no. of the limelight. And you see, I haven't seen an indictment as appalling as this. That's not the end of the matter because, and I have to tell you, this is really where I was most troubled by your behaviour. Absolutely outrageous. And this is personal to me, and I should disclose that to you. December 2019, officer, do help me with what happened. The defendant danced at the Maggie Strictly event alongside Shirley Ballas, raising £56,000. Poor Shirley Ballas. Uh, did you steal the limelight? It was the cha-cha-cha. It was a cha-cha-cha? It was. Well, I've never tried that myself. <laughs> did you steal the limelight from Shirley? No, I wouldn't do that. Now, that wasn't the end of the matter, because it seems to me that you have an affinity for, well, chiefly gentlemen of the emergency services. Is that right? 
Correct. Especially <laughs> firemen. <laughs> Is that true? Absolutely. Thank I shall be. pause. The last charge, if you don't mind, officer. <laughs> the defendant presented an award at the Manchester Airport group dinner, uh, accompanied by, yet again, firefighters. Is there a reason that you find firefighters more attractive than police officers? <laughs> <laughs> No, I just have been uh, in the company of firefighters more than police officers. Until today, obviously. <laughs> you stole the limelight, yet again. Now, stand up straight if you don't mind, Jane Dabner. <clears throat> you are charged with stealing the limelight. It's clear, is it not, officers, that the evidence is cogent, clear and overwhelming. Don't you agree? It is. Michelle? Agree. Peter? Agree. How do you plead? Absolutely guilty. <laughs> Why are you stealing people's limelight? What is it you'd like to say? I would just like to thank everybody who's helped me do what I've done so far. And um, I hope they're going to keep helping me to do it again, cos... I'm, I'm Guilty as I am, I'm going to keep raising as much awareness and keep going for as long as I can. Well, this seems to me to be one of those crimes that I have to let you off for. Thank you. Before I conclude, am I right to say that it was an ambition in your life for you to get arrested? It was on the bucket list, yes. <laughs> and there's one person in this room, I told. Oh, really? Yes. And who is that person? The lady in black. I <laughs> do. <laughs> 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 Well, I can say you've successfully been arrested. You've successfully found yourself guilty of a very serious charge. And most of all, you are successful at reminding us all how important it is, whatever is going on in your life, to delight in the joy of being alive. Totally. It's a privilege to meet you, Jane Dabner, despite finding you guilty. Seems to me there'll be no punishment whatsoever. Jane, thank you for everything you do. Officers, thank you too. Guilty as charged, thank you all very, very much. I hope your bucket list <coughs> has been enjoyable, madam. It has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much, everybody who's made that possible. <laughs>